China's diplomacy, known for its cautious, conservative, moderate diplomats, has completely changed its tactics under President Xi Jinping. In contrast to the strategy of Deng Xiaoping which is based on avoiding attention and incidents, assertive and controversial diplomacy called Wolf Warrior Diplomacy has dominated since 2019. The name comes from the 2015 Chinese patriotic film Wolf Warrior, in which the main character Leng Feng fights against enemies at home and abroad to protect China's interests. In the even more popular sequel Wolf Warrior 2, Chinese soldiers are sent to Africa to rescue the people of China, which conveys the message, anyone who offends China, no matter how remote, must be exterminated. This combination of self-confidence in its international reputation and insecurity led to the development of wolf warrior diplomacy with the aim of deflecting criticism of the People's Republic of China. Diplomacy of Deng Xiaoping During the reign of the Southern Dynasty, the term hide your strength, bide your time represented the withdrawal of sages from public life. It described self-cultivation in pursuit of achievement. During the Qing Dynasty, it was characterized by coolness, thorough planning and hard work. This term can be applied in prosperous and less prosperous times, because the goal is to work diligently on set goals in the distant future. In the 1990s, Deng Xiaoping asked diplomats to keep calm, carefully observe global changes, and be ready to take advantage of any opportunities that may arise. He emphasized that China should not take the lead in the world. Hide your strength, bide your time was the philosophy of Chinese diplomacy from 1978 to 2008. While some consider China's territorial claims in the South China Sea to be a departure from this principle, others think that Deng Xiaoping originally planned for China not to show its power until it was strong enough to defend its interests successfully. The answer to the question of whether this is just part of the plan or whether Xi Jinping has decided to change the strategy would help to understand in which direction China plans to move in the future. Some believe that the former diplomatic style of hide your strength, bide your time was necessary under Deng Xiaoping because then China had neither the need nor the strength to behave differently. But now that China has become stronger and the West is trying to slow down its growth, it is time for China to change its diplomatic style. Others say that hide your strength, bide your time doesn't mean showing weakness but modesty, and that China doesn't need to show its power to let others know she has it. Diplomacy of Xi Jinping When the Chinese economy had just started to develop, Beijing wanted to convince the world that they were not a threat to the existing liberal order. They claimed that China wanted to have a peaceful rise which was manifested in the promotion of soft diplomacy and the provision of necessary assistance to other countries. During the 1990s, Chinese nationalists criticized their diplomats for their polite and submissive behavior towards the US and Japan. On one occasion, the nationalists sent their Ministry of Foreign Affairs calcium pills in the mail, telling the diplomats to show more backbone. But President Xi believes that the Chinese system is successful and that the Chinese Communist Party should not apologize for the way it operates. He will not allow a 5,000-year-old civilization to be humiliated again. Due to the century of humiliation and bad experiences with the West, China perceives most things as a threat. Chinese diplomacy became assertive after the global financial crisis in 2008. This trend accelerated after Xi became the leader of the Chinese Communist Party in 2012. Xi began handing out memos to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on how diplomats should begin to show a fighting spirit. Obedient diplomats accepted this challenge to show loyalty to the party's ideology and leadership. However, in the summer of 2021, Xi stated that China must work hotter to improve international communication build a reliable and respectable image of itself, create friendships, unite and win over most countries to its side. This shows that China uses two different diplomatic strategies, an aggressive one, to satisfy the domestic audience, and an egalitarian one, with which it wants to present itself as a credible partner for cooperation. 
with Joe Biden coming to power, China had the opportunity to change its tactics and try to repair relations with the US since aggressive diplomacy did not help to achieve its strategic interests. However, China will not suddenly change its strategy because its goal is to save face and not surrender, so the decision-making changes will be gradual. Diplomatic wars will become the new normal in their relationship as China will no longer suffer blows from the US, nor be afraid to confront the rival superpower. China's attitude towards the relationship with the US has changed in the last few years. The idea that China should adhere to the principle of hide your strength, bide your time in its relationship with the US, has been replaced by the view that China should adopt a tit for tat approach. Although, it is unlikely that the relationship between China and the US will turn into a new Cold War because of their economic interdependence. It would be complicated or even impossible, to build a completely new and independent market. The upheaval in Chinese diplomacy that took place during the reign of Xi Jinping is both a cause and a consequence of his actions. While the West was facing the global financial crisis, China's GDP continued to grow by 10% every year. This instilled a sense of pride in the Chinese citizens and deepened the faith in the Communist Party's rule. President Xi has only accelerated the process of change in Chinese diplomacy, from Deng Xiaoping's principle of hide your strength, bide your time, to a confident and decisive style that advocates and defends the interests of the People's Republic of China. This style is also characterized by frequent spats on Twitter with those who criticize their homeland. Initially, some of the most famous wolf warrior diplomats, such as Zhao Lijian and Hua Chunying, rose rapidly in their careers due to their controversial tactics. In other situations, diplomats were removed to try and improve the damaged relationship with Western countries. Since wolf warrior diplomacy has harmed China's interests, the Communist Party might demand a change of tactics from Chinese diplomats. That new style of diplomacy could be focused on positive cooperation aiming to lower international tensions, and create new friendships and partnerships. However, in its role as a mediator, China continues to give ambiguous and vague solutions to complex geopolitical problems.